Well, well, well. What do you know? Terence Crawford lets deadline pass to fight Sebastian Fundor by Lance Pugmire. As awkward as that title is, uh, I see good old Lancey over here is letting the Crawford nut huggers down gently. Man, I told you guys for years, for years I've been telling you this guy is not a real fighter. Somebody came around well, last night saying, quote, the butt hate is real, unquote. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Make an argument. What do you mean? You mean not sucking cock is hating? All right. Guilty as charged. But if you think that something I'm saying is untrue, well, fucking prove it. Provide some evidence. Make an argument. But it reminded me, that comment, that it was about time to, quote unquote, hey, I'm Bud Crawford. Yeah, right. So I'm not going to get into all this stuff that I've talked about all over the years about how Bud is just not a real fighter. And then reasons, evidence, proof. Yeah, it's all on record. But look. Let me take a sip of my coffee. When Bud was moving up to 154 and hyping up Madrimov as the number one guy in the division. Yeah, right. Whatever. The narrative, I mean, maybe he is, right? Maybe he is. He hasn't proved it. The narrative was a couple more fights after this one, right? Just looking past him. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he thought. Like, what? The guy was just going to come in and lie down like some of them? He was going to be weight drained like a whole bunch of them? He was too green like a whole bunch of them? Or the occasion was just going to get to him? I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. There was so much smoke blown up his ass. Six round KO! Eighth round KO! He going to stop him! Right? There was so much smoke blown up his ass, he probably thought it was going to be... Another Kell Brook or something. I don't know what the fuck he thought. But he got in that ring going into that fight, right? The narrative was couple, couple more fights after this one, totally looking past him, and I'll be undisputed again. Can you imagine? As, as fake as the record may be, ooh, ooh, however you want to pick it apart, right? And there's plenty of ways to do that, but to be undisputed in the four belt era in four different divisions plus a lineal title at lightweight. So lineal in four fucking divisions and having all the belts. I mean, that would be absolutely incredible. Right? I thought this dude was about the chocolates. Everyone's always talking about the chocolates, the chocolate. He pound for pound number one. Look at the chocolates. Get the fuck out of here. It was all about Undisputed again. Just just a couple more fights after this one. Psst, easy. I got this. Blah, 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 blah. Gets in the ring with Madrimo and realizes that having a smaller guy, but a healthy guy, that's actually pretty good. Hey, maybe one day will be great. I don't know. Realized... That fighting a guy at his own weight, that Crawford, he himself fighting at his own natural weight, a guy that's also at his natural weight, even though significantly smaller, but, you know, good, not old, not weight drained, not dehydrated, just healthy, good, top level, healthy dude that's smaller than Bud. But all of a sudden, this dude realized, and I'll cut him some slack because he is 36, all right? I'll cut him some slack. But, I mean, nobody was talking about that going into the fight. He was, he was number one pound for pound. But anyway, gets in the ring with Madrimo after absolutely looking past him and realizes that having a real fight, that, that's some real shit. That's a, a whole bunch tougher than the, the entirety of his career. 
Now, I'm not saying he didn't have some real fights way back in the day against Tiny Gumbo. I, I mean, in a sense, that fight was real, but it wasn't a, a real, you know what I mean? It was fucking Tiny Gumbo. I way past this prime already anyway. Was working that ass. <sighs> Chinny ass Gumbo. Like, Terrence Crawford realized that having a real fight at this point of his career against somebody who's almost his own damn size and healthy. Well, it, it's tough. It's hard work. He wants none of it. He thought it was going to be easy peasy. I'll just go up another division. Win all the belts. Just three fights. Has a tough fight. Doesn't look spectacular. People start questioning. Oh, you should be. What's going on with this guy? I said he was going to knock him out in six rounds. He damn near lost the fight. A lot of people thought he did. Realize that it, the, the red carpet has been swept from under him. Taken away. Welcome to Riyadh season. Real fights. Motherfucker. <laughs> Good fights. Fights that people actually want to see. And what did he say? Uh-uh. No, I ain't doing that. Fuck you, pay me. Right? This guy's a chump. Yeah, he's talented. Yes, he's very good. Perhaps top 10 pound for pound. Perhaps. I'll give you that. It's possible. But he just doesn't have the balls. He doesn't... He doesn't have... The willingness to want to challenge himself. He thought it was going to be smooth sailing. Just pick up this. Them belts. One, two, three. Just like that. Realized that it wasn't going. That he would actually have to fucking work. For all them millions. And he said, nah, uh We ain't doing this. He ducks Sebastian fucking Fundora who got lucky against Tim Zhu that uh, a lot of people don't even think that much of. And we're saying the same thing if Crawford were to fight him as they were saying about Madrimov. I told you guys for years, this dude is not a real fighter. He's not a throwback fighter. He's a pampered diva mercenary. That's why he doesn't sell. That's why people don't like him because his fights fucking suck. And his attitude toward the fans is, fuck you, pay me. So all of you who have sucked that dick for all these years, man. Uh, well, there you have it, simp.